You may not have heard about tilt-up technology, but it's been around for decades, and in the last few years, it's taken off, thanks in large part to the tech industry. In San Jose, California, and Ottawa, this quick way to put up a building has proven very popular. As TechNow's Paul Brent reports, an Ottawa firm is a national leader in the field. As the name implies, tilt-up technology is all about tilting huge sections of concrete walls into place. This project is the expansion of a high school in Ottawa. The walls are framed and the concrete poured right on site. Then the sections are lifted into place and bolted together. Speed, it's one of the big advantages of tilt-up. Steve Kaminsky is president of Colonnade Developments. They've been putting up these buildings for a decade now. It used to be only office buildings or warehouses, but now school boards, churches, museums, airports, stadiums, they're all tilting up. This building was put up in 87 working days, from empty site to company in and working. In a hurry is, is one of the big things, and uh, often the, uh, the school boards have a, uh, a shorter and shorter period of time to get their decision making done, so that gives us a shorter period of time also to construct these buildings. So uh, its biggest advantage is its speed, and uh, we can get a building up in a much shorter period of time than we can otherwise. This YMCA building in the east end of Ottawa was built with tilt-up technology, and it's an award winner for design. The industry continues to battle the image that they only build ugly concrete boxes. But ugly or not, they are cheaper. And in the six years during the time the tech boomed, well, the tilt-up technology boomed. Their business more than doubled, and they got a foothold in Canada. It was here in Silicon Valley, the land of heavy traffic and a booming tech sector, that tilt-up technology really came into its own. There was a huge demand for industrial buildings, and hundreds of two- and three-story buildings were put up. But the sameness of the buildings, the drab exteriors, prompted criticism and now change. If you go to the Tilt-Up Association's website in the U.S., they showcase the wide variety of designs that now exist. The first tilt-up building was 95 years ago in the U.S. Now architects are finally looking at them in a new way. That's the key, is, is, is an architect's imagination and trying to use the system. Um, and I hate to use the word system because I don't, it isn't really a system, it's just, it's just concrete. It's a, a traditional building product that we've been using for, for centuries. It's been used a lot in commercial construction and we've built millions of square feet with it here in Ottawa alone in uh, commercial and industrial applications. And uh, we were approached several years ago by a local school board uh, to uh, get a school up for them because they heard that we could uh, build these structures so quickly and we took on that challenge and it kind of exploded from there. The tilt-up industry says they can be cheaper than some other building methods such as wood framing and metal walls or steel framework and concrete blocks. To deal with Canadian winters, Colonnade had to change the design of the wall, adding a layer of foam insulation sandwiched between the layers of concrete. The company says tilt-up is big on Canada's east and west coasts, but still is only a fraction of total construction. This school project was underway in mid-July. We went back as work wrapped up six weeks later. Some architects say that tilt-ups can be made to look a bit better, but at heart, they're a cheaper and functional building that can be built quickly and there's nothing wrong with that.